I'll see if I can find you some new ones. Some fancy outside world hats. Kiela pulls the box closer, pulls out another hat, puts it on top of Kuno's other hat. <laughs> she falls on her little butt, giggling. <laughs> hat! And then she points Someday at the box you'll have every hat in the entire world if you keep this up. <sighs> Kuno proceeds to do excited baby bounces. The conqueror of hats. <laughs> Starts reaching through the bars of the cribs trying to get to the other hats in the box. <laughs> you want to play? <laughs> Kella picks her up and lets her out of the crib. and starts diving her hands in and then pulling up a bunch of hats and throwing them all over her. debating whether she'd be like, but I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Can she say no to Bab? Can she say no to Bab? That is the question. <laughs> She'll just, uh... Take her with mm. you. Mm. What? Take her with you. Hell no! <laughs> Double extra hell no. Oh but man, not triple. You get to be with Kuno forever. All of your favorite people will be in one spot. Just, you know, with your least favorite person. Her favorite person already is here. Oh. I said all your favorite people. All of her favorite people are here. Her coat and her child. I said people, not, <laughs> not clothing. Ex people. It could be made into a person again. That'd be so freaky. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kelly will go over and sit down, and she'll be like, I can't stay too much longer, okay? okay. For a little while. And she puts on a hat. Like a true baby, she has made a mess and thoroughly Ooh. enjoys the chaos as she begins rolling around in her spread out hat. Yeah. Kel's mostly just watching her play. She begins trying to scale your leg like it is an insurmountable mountain. Once, once it seems, if it seems like Kuno starts getting a good grip, Kale will like raise it to lift her up. Swings it back and forth slowly. <laughs> it's 
like, what time is it? I would say it's not too late. It's probably maybe two o'clock ish. Ish ish. Okie dokie. So three in Zanzibar. I'm trying to think when Kiala thinks she needs to go. <laughs> when abouts do you think Timekeeper Samson's sleeping would have begun? It definitely uh, wasn't well, considering new. Zanzibar woke Nim up around eight because he refused to let her sleep in. And they started sparring immediately after breakfast, so all of it Samson probably would have headed to bed. Probably at like nine after everything was said and done. So then he's gonna take a long rest. And it's about two for Kiala, so nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve. So it's six, to he'd be six hours in his eight hour long rest. Nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, seven to one, one to two. He'd be five. You... Yeah, but you said it's three in Zanzibar. You're right. Good job. I know. <laughs> Math. Shit. Nerd. You're a nerd. You're the one who did math. You're the one who... The... Dice. Mm. That just makes her a gambler. Yeah. That just means I have a prop. Yeah, the problem is being a nerd! No. Oh, no. It's a separate problem. <laughs> but yeah, no, Kuno starts scaling your leg to get over your knee. Attack on tight music starts playing. No, no, Kuno, we don't like the bad anime. I mean, but yeah, no, she scales your leg and then plateaus onto your lap, looking triumphant at her success. <laughs> Kiala nuzzles her cheek and gives her a big hug. Kuno, Who's your little mountain girl? She unleashes her little murder mittens into your fur! <laughs> it's absolutely ineffective! Woo! Kelly, Kelly grabs her on both sides and just like lifts her up into the air directly above her head. You can see her tiny little itty bitty claws coming out of her paws. With her ferocious maw with... She wouldn't even have baby teeth yet, right? At one? Probably not. Or are they just barely I mean, coming in? Yeah, she's got some amount of tooth. Yeah. She's been eating fish. That is true. Well, fish isn't exactly the toughest fruit available. You still have to chew it. That is true. She got baby teeth. She's got some baby tooth. It's like a little, it's like a little murder maw in there. Mm. Tiny little tooth is this thing. She's just a basking shark, actually. <laughs> She'll lower her back down into another hug, and uh. Sing her the little lullaby she's been composing for her. You take it away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I haven't actually written a lullaby. What do you think I am? Obsessed a with nerd. Kuno? A bard? <laughs> Obsessed with Kuno? Uh, you want to be. Doesn't mean I'm gonna sing a song. 
Yeah, I didn't write any lyrics. Oh yeah, that's right. He didn't know there was gonna be a baby. Sucks to suck, man. No, I mean, I've known that Hyala was, like, writing this little song for Kuno for a while, but I was never planning on writing said song. Ah. Well, I think you should plan otherwise. I want to see the song. Too bad. Oh, how are you? Yeah, too bad for you. I want some lyrics. <laughs> too bad. Mm, nope. Well, for you. Anyways, that happens, and then... <laughs> She's just like... That's your special, special song now. Yay! It's all for you. She another hat on her head. She now has three hats. Uh... Again, I'm still trying to think of, like, is there a time she's like, oh, I should probably go back while it's still daytime, not just be like, yo, what up, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> but, like, there's plenty of hours left in the day. Like, do you want to go out for a walk? Uh, yay! And then she just extends her arms for upsies. Yeah. I mean, they were, she was already kind of holding her, so she all just sort of gets up. Ah, fair enough. Ow. And she'll pull off two of the hats and be like, let's keep these in here for safekeeping. You still have one. If they're too tall, they fall off. And they get lost in the snow. Look, look. And Hela puts the two hats back in the d drawer thing. Chest thing. It's like, they're, they're safe and playing with all their f hat friends. See? Yes, yes. Reaching for the box. <laughs> Yellow just kind of walks off with her in tow. Crying ensues. And then Kuno scratches at Yala's face, creating an <laughs> X. <laughs> yeah. So you just I am Animu. You just take the crying baby out. No, she'll she'll stay in the doorway for a little bit and wait for it to calm down. Kuno Three started, days pass. Kuno started to get all snotty. Shama wipes it up. Little bubbles coming out of her nose. She just looks at you. Eyes soaking wet, pointing at the box. Yep, they're over, over there. <laughs> and she starts doing those little, like, baby bounces that you do when you're trying to, like, get a child to stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep making crying noises, but she cries. 
Alright. Eventually she has to stop, though. Eventually? How long... How long is the... Eventually? She cries for a full hour. Kelly just keeps... Bouncing her up and down. By the time she stops crying, or at least quiets down, because she just run out of tears at this point. She's still not happy, but she's sniffling and soaked. a little sigh and put her down on the ground. Go back inside. She, she runs over to the box. And she takes out the two hats that were placed in there. And then she takes the one off her head. And she just hugs them. And just falls into a little potato on the floor. And she scoots across the floor with her hats, clutching them dearly, and tries to, you know... Are you sitting or standing? Uh, I imagine she sat down on, like, the edge of the floor rugs. Yeah, she just pulls herself into your lap, and proceeds to return to ball form. Yeah. Kill the little pets. Lays in your her lap in bleh, your lap with her face tucked into her hats. And your lap. She got her butt in the air. What's Yala doing? Uh she just waits a bit. She's like Is it nap time? The ball does not move. <laughs> Is ball awake? You can do a perception check to check on the status of ball. We The ball is asleep. Clutching her hats over her face. Hee <laughs> She'll, uh, lift Kuno up very carefully and put her in her hats in the crib. Her in the three, or are you, like, putting all of her hats in the crib? Uh, just those, the ones she was holding. She goes around and cleans. Cleaning commences. When she's done, she goes and she leads into the crib, gives Kuno another little kissu. She's like, Goodbye, sweetie. Hope you have good dreams. And I'll see you when I can. Stay safe. You feel a little ham reach up and poop your nose as she just tries to crack a sleepy eye open at you. Hey. And she rolls over.
She reaches a hand down, just sort of pats her into the cheek. Your I'll finger miss you. is sneak attacked by a small mouse. She bites your finger. Play bites, you know. <laughs> Yellow goes ow and flings Kuno across the room. No, baby, you're <laughs> dead! Yeet! That was the funniest thing this was dead all second. <laughs> <laughs> There's this uh, video of like some little uh, puppy biting a someone's finger. He goes, ah, oh, fuck! But then someone replaces the next scene of him like prying his hand out with like the stuffed animal slamming against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was. It's based on a true story. Oh my god! What about baby getting slammed? <laughs> so I. <laughs> I worked at a vet's office, and um, this guy was treating uh, some woman's rat, and he was like, he was giving it some drug, and it like, it thrashes around and manages to like, sink its teeth all the way into its finger and like, get a pretty good grasp. So just like, as a like, total reflex, not intentionally, he just like, shakes his hand like you do when you touch something painful, uh -huh. and the rat just goes against the wall. <laughs> And he looks at the owner and is like, I think I just killed your rat. <laughs> Was it dead? <laughs> I, I imagine so. Most things don't survive being rapidly thrown into a wall. They usually don't survive. I also oh. have a story similar to that. I think I've told it before. Oh, that guy mm. definitely lost a job. When, um... Uh, my, I had, uh, like, these little dwarf hamsters when I was a kid, and my oh, mom took care of them. No. And, um, <laughs> my mom was reaching into the tank to, um, like, um, I think it was to, like, pull out the food bowl to put food in it. And one of them got really close to investigate and bit her finger. And on reaction, she like yoinked her <laughs> hand out, and that thing goes flying across the room into like a mess of clothes that were on top of a stack of pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fine, but it was funny because like we just after that we just kept going. At, we, we kept making jokes with like, oh, we can hear it go wee. <laughs> There's a little flying circus to warp it after there. Yeah. They were cute. Until I died. I'm back. Welcome back. So anyway, uh, Your hamster lived, child. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they, I, I assume you walked out in the middle of the in the middle of the story. Yeah, I had to. I, I got summoned. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah. It fell onto a uh, pile of like fresh laundry that was on top of a like a a pile of pillows. Woo! So it landed in like the cushiest landing a a hamster could find. And was fine. Hooray. Ham ham. But anyway, yeah, uh, Hella throws her child across the room. Oh, no. <laughs> Hella doesn't do that. She's used to being attacked by family members. As we've seen. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have a strong enough bite force or. Her... or enough teeth to do any damage. She starts moving away slowly. And the baby is starting to wake up. No. Pat the baby bum until the baby goes to bed. And then Kella slowly moves a pillow over. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is the welcome to the pillow smothering episode. <laughs> See, even when we're far apart, we still mirror each other's actions. <laughs> we really are a true D and D party. <laughs> Smother your family. Because sometimes they deserve it. So what's the Gala do? Uh, she's, she's like, she's like taking a step and then looking back and then taking another half a step and then looking back and then taking like a quarter of a step and then looking back. Wiggled her way over to the end, to the side of the crib, and she's like, "Oh, come here! I love you!" She steps back over. Is, is it? Is there like bars on the crib, or is it a? Yeah, it's like a wooden crib. Okay, then yeah, she'll uh, she'll take Kuno's little hand from through the bars. Give it a little hand kiss. I can't stay right now. Hey. And she pushes one of the hats through for you. Hey. Kyo will take it. Hey. I want to. But this is the best way to keep you safe. Because... Hey. Things are dangerous outside right now, and I can make it better. Play? When I get back. I miss you. I miss you too. I... Who knows loading the metaphorical gun? I might be out of hats, but I'm not out of options. <laughs> <laughs> She's not out of either. <laughs> oh no, what have you thought of? Oh no, I'm making silly shadow puppets on my wall. <laughs> Anyways, um... But yeah, she'll look into Kuno's eyes and be like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll know when you're older. Because I... I can't stay. Bye. I've spent so long away already, and... Even now that I'm back, I... Still feel like I have to go again. It's not fair to you. She'll give her a finger. Yeah, she pull, tries to pull your hand into the cage. I mean, right. it only goes so far. What? She struggles to pull your hand into the side of her hand. Okay. Kella moves it in, but I imagine these bars are pretty small. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, they're wide enough for an adult hand to fit between. Not a, it's not a prison cell. <laughs> she do got big hand, though. It's got a hold tiny baby. And Kuno will take your hand and place it on her head. Ah! Then she yep. lifts her arms up and wraps it around your wrist to hold your hand there. <laughs> she just kind of like 
wiggles her fingers to massage Kuno's head. Kella uses catnap. <laughs> Puts her in her coat. All right, let's go. <laughs> I was just about to say, no, I will not specify which time I mean here. Which mean? I mean. <laughs> there we go. Check out the Stevie slick. <laughs> Item, Mama's hand. Well, just cut it off and leave. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, sounds like the easiest solution to me. <laughs> right? Yeah, you can figure out how to pull the bowstring with your teeth. Actually, yes, people do it. <laughs> yeah. Man, spent all this time getting my arms all swole just to not have a hand on one of them. <laughs> Just be so swole, you'll uh, you'll grow it back. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Man, is it the hand she already almost lost use of? Mm. <laughs> no. Flip a coin. I'm trying to remember when she almost lost use of a hand. When she got that shoulder injury. Mm. <laughs> Big Owie. Big Owie. Hmm. Yeah. She'll lean close so her, like, nose is poking through the bars. And, like, with her free hand, tap her nose for Kuno to give her a nose kiss. Kuno will nuzzle your nose with her nose. Yay! Yeah, she pulls her hands back. Kuno is still nuzzling your nose. The nuzzles Just don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Uh -huh. And they don't stop coming, 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 and they through the bars with her eyes closed and then she doesn't feel you so she tries to press a little more and then she opens her eyes yeah. whole face pressed against the bars little arms reaching through you will be okay to fucking sleep at some time yeah <laughs> what it said the child has to fucking sleep at some point yeah she got him Oh, Take yeah. your nap. You can't sleep with me right beside you. Because the crib is too small. Wee. She, like, gets back up to full height. 
Jake. Get some rest. I'll come back, and I'll have... I'll have new hats for you. And you hear the door open quietly and then close. Um, excuse them? They're having a problem? Bella very quickly, like, wipes at her eyes and, like, stands up in, like, a stiff soldier position. Like, she's immediately like, yes, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. And Jody just walks up next to you and looks down at the crib. Is she being difficult again? She's not being difficult. She's, she's just being, being herself. And Kyala gives her a little pat on the head. But I've... I've stayed away from my post longer than anticipated already. And it's time to return. I'll send updates of what is going on so that preparations can be made accordingly. Kill a little look at Jadia and be like, she wants to play, do you have time? This is how I did it until Boris told me that that was bad. <laughs> I can join in on the joke. <laughs> now I just use Benadryl like a normal parent. So, oh, that is not a fucking normal parent! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Moto uh, fully what? supports the pillow smothering. <laughs> 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 No, she <laughs> a blanket, and she'll pick Kuno up and swaddle her for a side in. Kella gives Kuno a little finger wave. Stop it! She walks closer, gives her a little kissu, then starts moving off, and she's like. Bye, Kuno. No! And I'll keep you posted, Jadia. She bows ahead. Walks. What was that? Kills like don't. It it doesn't feel right sneaking away. Kel just sits down. Jody will take the little bundle over. And in an unexpected move, Jody starts rocking to go back to court. And you just hear her singing a clan lullaby. In a very soft and motherly tone. And a 
gives you this odd sense because you don't rem you don't recall Jadia ever singing, but it almost seems familiar. It was Grandma. And you'll just watch as Kuno starts to get sleepy. Still doing her bit, you know. Maybe about five, ten minutes past. And then Kuno's asleep. Like hard lights out. Just We shall get up. Do you have any idea when you'll be back? It's hard to say. I'll keep you apprised as much as is possible with a relatively slow mail system. I was just kind of standing at attention, waiting to be dismissed. Jerry is kind of looking at you. And, you know, it looks like something's on her mind. But, you know, it's almost like she doesn't know what to say. Cat got your tongue? Uh -huh. <laughs> She just closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. Don't read into it. But I got a damn right last bastion from Boris when after he saw you. What? I have been made aware of maybe I shouldn't. She kind of just lifts her free hand up and she takes her pointer finger and runs it across her face. Gives her an even number of scratches. <laughs> I... There are things that even I'm not good at. <clears throat> like parenting. She was just like, it's truly not much of an issue. There's no need to pretend anything. You are who you are. And... I don't think it needs to change. I only try to do what I think is best. Of course. Yes? Try not to be away too long, okay? I'll do what I can. And her voice shakes a little bit, but she's like, working real hard to keep her face straight. So it does. Yeah, since the whole, like, finger running 
over Jadia's face thing to kind of hasn't made eye contact again. Yeah, Kella still is like, gotta stay stoic, gotta stay stoic, gotta stay stoic. Yes, Jadia. And she, like, kneel bows, and then gets up and leaves. And door. This is why strangers don't think you're mother and daughter. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny you say that, because literally in the last- in the last batch of notes I said Lordo, I was like, a stranger wouldn't know. They'd be like, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a problem. Oh, no, Why? I fixed it. What's uh, problem? I was trying to move down, but it was moving diagonally when I was clicking down. Mm. And I was like, oh gosh, why? Stop! Dancing <laughs> on the fire. Time to go back and see my friends. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh. I don't want to hide it. <laughs> and Nim gets double hugs since the other one's asleep. Yeah, fuck you, Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. It was about I'm two weeks we were sitting between us and the hour of crying, right? So that would bring it yeah. three. Uh, and then... I don't know, how long do you think that whole after the crying thing took? I, maybe in a half hour? I wouldn't even say half an hour. It was like one conversation and waiting for Kuno to sleep. Baby Kuno's fussing. Already tired. Conversation. Ah, oh, so then, yeah, it's pretty much still three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, she's like. So you come out and Boris is standing there, looking all. Doing their silly little tabaxi things. Mm -hmm. Look at them in their functional families. Don't go pss, pss, pss. Oh, and she's actually, she's gonna like pause and be like, oh, right. That alcohol that you had? I was going to head back. Ah, so soon. It's no time for wheel. Not yet, no. I will take care of you. As he lifts a hand and pats you on the back. I have many things to write. I have to write letters. I do not think I will write letters. I have tried very hard. I think I need a bit. Still going to take it. Must practice. Hmm. And don't forget, there's a chance we need more than just this place. As many tribes or clans of the mountain that you can get on board, the better chance we all have. I think you underestimate them. I think I estimate crazy wackos just right in front of me. How are you, Githo? 
I... <laughs> and she, despite the fact that this would explain nothing to Boris, who she didn't bring this up to before, she taps her forehead and is like, I contact the individual who brought me here. Oh, you're just gonna say, I know a guy? I know a guy. <laughs> With his book? Yes, it's some sort of line of communication. I'm not certain how it works. I see. Work but... is a very weird place as he just looks off into the distance. <laughs> A few days ago I was filling out paperwork. Now there is work exploding and people talk via their foreheads. Either I am really not understanding common and my understanding has gone The world has gone topsy uh, has gone turvy topsy. And Boris will walk over to his bag and start rummaging for the requested bottles. Yeah, while he's doing that, she's gonna just sort of, like, uh, inquire about if there's an easier way to contact him than snail mail, or bird mail, or spider mail. I assume there's no way that I can just contact that stone you have. Hmm. I wonder if it could be mimicked sufficiently close with strong enough magic. Could I see it one more time? Why, sure, but I need that in case any more wooby dooby happen. I, I know. And he'll pass you the device while he's fetching the bottles. She's just gonna study it so she can, like, see if Zanzibar would be able to make a other half of the telephone line. Walkie-talkie, that's the word I was thinking of. Yeah, just as much information. Because, like, she, she figures Zanzibar knows enough that, like, he can fill in some of the gaps, if not all of them, as soon as she starts describing what it is. But yeah, she's she's doing her best to memorize everything. Well, then give me an investigation check at advantage, DC 16. The advantage is because you're trying really, really hard to get as much of this as possible. She go, Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Alternatively. You and me both. <laughs> Woo! Not rolling over the ten. You, uh... High five! Oh, I'm sorry. Low five! Low five! Uh, you believe that you've memorized a sufficient amount of the device. Cool. Gives it back. Oh, you just pressed the button. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Go burn. She gives it back. Takes her alcoholisms. Yeah, he'll pass you four bottles of an unlabeled, unmarked alcohol. Neat. She Kiala had one of the bags of holding, right? She could just shove them in there. I believe so. Cool. She do that. Item keeper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she got handed one. I think you all at least. I think Nim bought you all at least one in ride to work. Yeah. One what? Oh, bag of holding. Bags of holding. Yeah. 
Holdy holds. Oh, and I can remove the stuffed dragon from my inventory. <laughs> Baby! Be real with me, how many times did you cry during the baby thing? Uh, one and a half. Was the one and a half, like, one most of the entire time, then you stopped and then you halved again? Uh, it was more like half the entire time, and then at one point it got <laughs> bad enough. I'm surprised I didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kid's too cute, and I don't know how I pull it off. Baby. Just say goodbye to children, forehead. No! Yeah. Abandon more kids. No! Yeah, just abandon more kids till you're used to it. No! Yeah. Kella gives Boris a bow, and then nods at anyone she's passing on her way, sort of just- What do you mean you walk away with bow? Come back here! Give Boris hug! Bye! No! <laughs> <laughs> you get away from Off me! the map! Off the map! I can't get out! Save me! Save me! <laughs> Zans of our help! Boris chases after you for a hug! Boris, do a grapple attack! <laughs> Does Boris move faster than Hiala? I assume so. He does take big steppies. He What's his movement speed? Uh, I don't know if I said it yet. Let me see your character sheet. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, Hiala can move like double that if she's trying. I did not. And even more once. than that once. <laughs> I mean, she could she could dash action every single turn and then do the cats thing once. Yeah. But no, she's she's not sprinting away anyways, so it probably it wouldn't even be as far out as we are. It'd be like there. Is it fair to say that Boris catches yellow? Yeah. Because okay. again, she's she's not actively actually sprinting away. She was just walking off. Of course. <laughs> uh, and he drops you into the snow. Yeah, I'll feed first before. Oh, I was gonna go like this. <laughs> She's a cat. She lands on her feet. Oh, don't you know? Drink too much of that in one sitting. It is potent. I am big guy! Of course not. For you. For you? Alright. <laughs> She's like, nah, Merrymaker's tolerance is probably still higher. Oh. He might be a teeny little man, but. <laughs> teeny must... little bald man. <laughs> he drinks must like a go water ball. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> With the friends I have! And he spins Who needs in a festive, you know, <laughs> in a festive manner. <laughs> we don't need luck! Boris will make sure we are successful! Good luck anyways. <laughs> she kinda no. <laughs> keeps going off to not too far outside of the village, but enough that there's not other folks. And she just kind of thinks at Zanzibar. 
the Zanzibar line is busy. <laughs> what does she think at Zanzibar? She's Thank just- I, I mean, she's just you. like, Zanzibar. Are you- are you there? I don't know how this works. <laughs> but if you can hear, uh, respond? Sorry, I had to change the music. So it's just silent for a few moments, and then you just hear in the annals of your mind. Ow! Oh, I'm not going to lie, I really didn't think you were going to come back. Unless you're about to tell me that you're not coming back. I... I'm ready to return. Everyone is on board. They're beginning preparations. And what of the big one? He has plans to communicate with some of the other uh, school people thing. Yellow knows the word I'm blanking. Headmasters. That one. Yeah. <laughs> she says that one. The school's headmasters. And hopefully rally the academy as well and any associated peoples of Katma. And she, she, like, forgets to reply, because she's kind of, like, looking back over her shoulder from where she came from as the snow starts covering up her footprints. Did you get your fail? I... have said goodbyes that needed to be said. Leaving somebody behind either way, aren't I? True. Which is why I gave you the option in the first place. And why I'm still leaving my previous offer open, despite everything you've said. We are allowed to change our minds. We are allowed to make better decisions. Samson and Nim were sparring. Nim was sparring? I know! I'm surprised too! I forgot I was muted, but I immediately said, right? <laughs> <laughs> the other one, eh. But Nim? You got Nim to do something? Oh my god! <laughs> Poggers! And, and the green one, he gave a rousing speech, and actually is taking initiative. I, it's honestly really weird. This is going to sound awfully strange coming from me of all people, but I was actually starting to miss your insatiable rage, because they're just acting way out of character. This is like some another old phrase somebody's going to get. Don't mind my babbling. I'm also in better spirits. Why am I telling you this? You don't care. Point 
this. You want to come back? That is what I'm here to do, yes. And no one's around you, right? Correct. I double checked. Hmm. Give me a one silver with your eyes. And she, uh, looks around the area. Do I percept? You take a 360 around yourself, and then you just see him go, Yeah, no, you're fine. Alright, let me just get out of the tower first. I think it'd be more ceremonial if you come back. You know, walking through the door as opposed to just talk. And besides, it's all about the showbiz, right? Ceremonial? What is this showbiz? <laughs> show. The fuck's a show? <laughs> I believe so. Well, double check. If you walk through that portal without that ice stone on, there is a good chance you're just going to fall at my feet, gasping for breath. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something and then you did. I really, I really wish Shala would actually just say that. <laughs> she takes out the ice stone and puts it on. The golems will probably be happy as well. Oh, you have the two golems on you. <laughs> yeah. They literally and they got never bigger. Made an appearance. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they did. did. Yeah, they did in the hot spring, but I mean, like, in her actual <laughs> village, they just. They were just tucked away somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I what mean, else would you want for them? In yeah, no, also. Magic? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very that was sort of the issue. She was like, alright, you guys. Um, out of sight. Out of mind. She's like, just Stay give yourselves a small coating of snow as best you can. Just always be <laughs> under the snow and just slink around. No, they just... They look like snowmen, and they like walk around when no one's looking, and then anytime someone turns their head, they're like, <laughs> and they get up and walk, and then <laughs> they're fucking playing crop hunt <laughs> <laughs> in the background of the village while all this nonsense is going on. Woo! But yeah, they're they're also there. <laughs> tried to open a dimension door from somebody else's point of view. But besides, apologies, but first time's for everything, right? Of course. I feel like a teleportation circle would be safer, but that's just me. Alright. <laughs> two, one. And you just feel your forehead heat up, and then... Forehead? Kella's head explodes. You Roll a new a, character. You see a bubble appear from your forehead and then just expand into a oval shaped gateway. On the other side Did of I it, do that? On the other side <laughs> of it, you just see Zanzibar standing there with a staff he did not previously have in his possession in his hand. My stick. And you just hear it in a in stereo. What does Yellow say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Uh, she just like examines the outside of the the portal and then hops through. Hey, yellow. Hello. Yeah. I clicked on Yellow and I got Jadio. What the fuck? Aha! Uh -huh, she became her mother. Oh, no, I hope not. Too, too. Jadia comes through like, what's with the pipsqueak and the himbo? 
<laughs> no, I... Does Simpson still have both his bald? I don't know how attractive <laughs> people think he is without hair. Huh? I'm asking how attractive is Samson without hair? Because he doesn't uh, have the dad bod thing going on. Then Tyler runs over to Jade's doors. <laughs> oh, I can't pass through them. Whoops. <laughs> ah, I'm in the window. There we go. I'm back. We're good. Yeah, oh, yeah. but, um... Shella's back in Zanzibar. Guess who's back? Back again. No, I put my hair. She looks around to just regain her orientation. It certainly is an unpleasant temperature here. What's with the new walking stick? Oh. Congrats. Did your age? Congratulations as he lifts it up and kind of holds it in the air and, for, and puts it in front of him. Your eyes are looking on something most mortals never get to see. A genuine mythical legend. A genuine mythical magic item. This one personally belonged to Solaris before well. And he gestures around to the desert. It's mm. a memento. Oh, I love that move. <laughs> I said I love that movie in Hiela's voice. <laughs> anyway. Or rather, rather the fact that it's a reminder. I'd like to try and remind myself of the things that I rather wouldn't have happened. That way I can keep some focus as this world turns. More importantly, I would never want to see this item fall into the hands of the gods. They don't deserve it. Well, it seems like nothing's changed, then. And he just narrows his eyes. He may not see eye to eye, but try not to put a jab at her. Uh, what? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, was she making a jab at him, or just at the gods in general? Uh... <laughs> just like, she's like, ah oh, yes, I'm back, and Zanzibar is spewing cryptic shit about the gods. Oh, okay. Just like, oh, nothing's changed. Then never mind what I said. Nothing really ever done. Instead, he'll say... Really ever does, at least in my experience. Different pantheon, same righteous indignance. Good, bad, ugly, beautiful, poor. You still remember how the stairwell works, right? Of course. It's only been a couple days. Fair enough. It's also, still admittedly the longer than I anticipated. Yeah, I'm glad you're back. I think Samson was on a track to get himself killed. Well, that didn't change when I was around. Okay. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> She's like, yeah, still not new. Zanzibar just kind of stops in front of the door and he's like, well, yes, but at least he actually decided to sleep when you were around. He hasn't slept since you left. <sighs> How opens, ironic. And he just opens the door and was like, come on. Ooh. It'd be like, what, four o'clock now? Funky stairs. Come in. 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 <laughs> Why couldn't you open the door? Oh, I could. I just thought it was funnier to just <laughs> mash the button. <laughs> <laughs> so you would fix it. Timekeeper. Yeah. Dead. Uh, it's about four o'clock now, right? Uh, yeah, it'd be somewhere within that hour. So, Samson would be awake now, right? He'd be, like, just waking up. 
Do I have to hit the funny button? What funny button? This funny button! Woo! <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like how it says new day. So you <laughs> have a terribly confusing and strange nightmare. Ah, oh, what the hell? The name did me. What I didn't do anything. Oh, you've just been watching him sleep this whole time. <laughs> Okay, so no, let me explain what Nim's what been doing. What a fucking freak, oh my god! Let me explain what Nim's been doing, you dirty scallywag. I'm, oh, and now I'm dirty. Language. God damn. Oh, she called you dirty because you don't have any money. Are you going to take that? Anyway. Wow. Well, you actually have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. See, she's judging you based on the... So, I didn't get a chance to move my token before the screen changed, but- You had so, a chance while they were playing with doors. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, anyway, side tangent, I'll explain later. Point is, Nim's been over here, and so, Nim's been playing that Cat's Cradle game, but with- instead of using actual strings, she's just using magic strands. I was really hoping you were gonna say some of Samson's hair. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, sand? <laughs> like, the sand golem just gave you string of sand? String of Zanzibar! The string of sand! The strings of Zanzibar! The sand I don't think everyone had a different opinion of what they were playing this game with. <laughs> Yeah, I no. just think about Samson's hair more than I'm supposed to. <laughs> no, Nim's just we playing know. Cat's Cradle this whole uh -huh. time, like, over here. You know, it's the most attractive part of his body. <laughs> nah. And where'd Kiala go? Over to the... Oh, yeah! She hasn't met the golem yet! Kiala <laughs> jumps out the window. Like, yeah, you know what? I can't do this. Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> about JK. <laughs> I changed my mind, send me back. And Zanzibar just keeps you behind him. Ah! Like, physically restrains her? No, he doesn't physically restrain you, but he just got his arm, like, moved beside him. Like, he's trying to gesture for you to stay behind him. But yeah, she's like, what are you doing? You're being weird, or the normal. But only slightly. Don't you think it'd be a little funny to surprise them? Come no. on, it's been a few days. At least give them a little bit of a shock. But... Unless you're just... Pull out your bow. Unless you just want to go <laughs> Knock watch. an arrow and just point it at them. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you people? Look, I like theatrics. I like funny little surprises. We could either hide them behind me or... Just walk up there, pretend that nothing happened. That might be hilarious. I... The what? Zanzibar's trying to get Yala in on a bit, and it's hilarious. <laughs> Yala's like, what's a bit? <laughs> a bit of what? <laughs> a bit? A bit of what? A bit of what? Based? Based on what? You can't possibly tell me you've never yeah. played a prank before. I don't have time for petty I don't have friends. She do she have friends. Yellow has a lot of friends. <laughs> what? You have to put a period there. I don't need to put it there. This seems like rather a more serious situation than a prank would be welcomed in. Yeah, and everybody hates medicine. What's your point? <laughs> Did she actually say that? No. Would it be fun? I hate medicine. I'm going to do this. And Yala breaks her arm on the wall. Cast Revivify on the chicken noodle soup. She breaks her arm against the wall and just screams, Ah, Zanzibar, why? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Zanzibar would do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, if he just points at the golem, Nim's 
got a pet. Okay. A different pet. Well, are we going to pretend that you're not here, or are we going to just send you up there? I was just going to go up there. You know, like a normal person. <laughs> Go up there and pretend nothing is wrong. Everything is wrong. Gonna... Could you sidestep him now? <laughs> he just watches you while you're like, You are really no fun. There's... Oh, she's still. Oh, yeah, that's right. She put the bottles in the bag of holding. Yeah. <laughs> no fun, eh? Dangle some alcohol in front of him. <laughs> no fun, huh? Chugs the yellow hash drink. <laughs> What's up, party people? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Yella stumbling back in high would be so funny. Okay. I'm like, what happened to you in Katma? Oh gosh, Yella, you got a new man. icon when you were gone. Yella, you look different. You look youthful. Revitalized. But yeah, uh, anyways, going back to Zanzibar Rig, like, you're no fun. She'll just kind of, like, let out a long sigh and be like, Fine, whatever. Take the lead. I've got a perfect idea. Do what you were going to do. Let me roll with it. What? Go do what you were going to do. <laughs> Dang, Hyala, Hyala declined the chance to be part of the joke, and now she's going to be the person who gets joked. <laughs> she's like slowly walks away, side eyeing him. And as <laughs> I almost said no thank you! <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, nah. <laughs> nah, bro. Hold on a minute, Samson just woke up. <laughs> this wow! ain't it. Or else I take snowball! But he's with like me. for a walk? Like for a walk? Get down here and idea. stop questioning! But you didn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go check on what he wants? Let's go together. All you right. feel like walked in. How you feeling? How you doing? How'd you sleep? Uh, what are you mumbling about? Huh? Uh, nothing. A weird dream is all. What was it about? I can't really remember. It just felt weirder than normal. Weirder than normal? What do you normally dream about? Being home. I thought you were gonna say being a hoe, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Now that I know what it means, I can dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anytime... No, that was only a thing of dreams before. Now I know it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at any time... You, Samson, want to explore your nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, go ahead. I'll see you later. Oh, hi, Hala. Wait, Hala. <laughs> is, is it in somewhere that I can look? Uh, no. Because I haven't had a chance to write it down. Because I did this after oh. talking to sleep. So as soon as you want to explore... Get off that, <laughs> whenever you want to explore that story a bit, um... Just let me know, and I can read Samson all the syntax. <laughs> but we'll say he's groggy for now and can't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we continue with the reunion, the dancing. <laughs> At this point, it just seems like Niv and Hella are just doing that thing where they're not hugging, but they're spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. And gives Kiala a hug. Yeah, Kill's like 
Uh, sorry that took a bit longer than expected. There was a lot more to do and a lot more ground to cover, and she just kind of like starts babbling. Samson's gonna like rub his eyes, and then when he <laughs> sees Yala's there, he's gonna like blink for a second, and then like pinch his cheek. Like, oh, it's really you. You're back. Uh, yeah. I'm putting him in the bathtub. <laughs> Put him in the bathtub. Put him in the bathtub. But he fits. He fits. No! <laughs> it's filled with water. You'll kill him. <laughs> but I... if he fits, he fits. <laughs> <laughs> so it is is Ar Arnim and Yala hugging? Yes. Probably. All right. Samson's gonna join in for a big old group hug. You fucking better. Is Sorry, Yala so you're babbling? back, Yala. No, she stopped when Samson started babbling. <laughs> Samson's gonna hold the two of you really tight close to him. Nerd. Hey, shut up. <laughs> That came through. <laughs> it's not supposed to. Hugging commences. You just stand there hugging in silence? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, God. <laughs> You're I mean, now Kiel and Nim are being grappled by Samson. <laughs> and Kiel and Nim are also grappling each other. Why do you <laughs> smell like a giant man? I didn't know giant man had a very specific <laughs> scent. Okay, of I, course it does. I assume. Oh, yeah, it definitely it does. does. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so wrong, Lord? <laughs> Giant man, absolutely. Boris <laughs> probably smells like a Slim Jim and like a gym locker. <laughs> and elderberries. You know, oddly enough, I always thought he would smell more like elderberries and Old Spice. Well, That's I got what one part. Gym locker smells like. Yeah. <laughs> We're two for three, and then all the meat on him can be the Slim Jim. Smells of elderberry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should have added the alcohol to heal this thing in the doodle. Oh no, you left it there? That's it. No, I left it. I knew it. He only hugged her because she smelled of alcohol. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yala, the reason why I like you most, the alcohol you bring me. Thanks. But, uh... Just so you don't have to retype it later. Let me give you that name of the alcohol. On the oh. unmarked bottles. I added it to the thing. 